Oh, there do they call to me. Oh, there do they call to me. Oh, there do they call to me. God of War on PlayStation 4 is my first experience with the God of War franchise and it was one that stands out as one of the best experiences I've ever had as a gamer. God of War took a game I expected to enjoy a lot, as having seen the critical acclaim it had been receiving, to then a game that captivated me in a way I never thought possible. A game that set the dial up to 11 from the start of the game and never stopped all the way until the game's ending. It felt like something that I had never played anything like before, all the while feeling intuitive and familiar at the same time. The star of the show, of course, here is the characters and the narrative, taking a deeply personal story that felt quite basic and grounded, then turned itself into an epic adventure that never had a dull moment. I enjoyed this game so much that I wanted to make this video to talk about my thoughts and experiences with the game that will no doubt live in history as one of this generation's best games. As I already said, I've never played a God of War game before this one, though I'd love to go back now and play them. So my expectations and anticipations for this game weren't set extraordinarily high. I had a certain expectation from the track record of PlayStation first party games being at a very high level of quality and polish. And with the critical acclaim the game was receiving, I thought I definitely had a game on my hands that was well worth my time. So with all my thoughts going into playing this game, I was still blown away by what I got. God of War has, to me, the best and most important first hour of a game that I've ever played. The game established tone to an extraordinary degree through the beautiful soundtrack by Bear McCreary, the characters' interactions, the history, the surrounding environment. This was done just within the first five minutes of the game. The next 55 minutes establishes the groundwork of gameplay that gives a variety of mechanics and tools to the player through fun combat, puzzle solving and character interactions that works together so fluidly. To then being capped off with a battle that is so epic, I realised I was about to begin a journey that was going to be something special with this game. As my journey with the main characters Kratos and Atreus continued, I was stunned to find the game continued to expand and build as a narrative and mechanically so naturally and continuously. It really didn't stop until the end credits rolled. This is something God of War should be endlessly praised for. The game establishes the groundwork gameplay, as I said, within the first hour. But it plays with gamers' expectations, as we are used to being thrown all or most of the tools at the beginning of a game and having to figure out how to use it all collectively the further we go into it. Whereas it is barely the tip of the iceberg with what the game has to offer at the start of God of War. The development team make you think the game is a linear experience and then turn it on its head as an open world action RPG, while at the same time it isn't that, but it also is. It's got the tropes of so many different variations of games together that it shouldn't work, but it does. There is constantly surprises with characters, the story, what you can do with the game mechanically and how big the game really is. God of War felt like a game I've never experienced before, the way in which it weaves tropes of so many familiar genres and combines them together to make something so new yet familiar enough for the game to feel intuitive, giving me as the player the feeling like I'm in touch with how the game wants me to play it, being able to solve puzzles and defeat bosses at a rate in which I have prepared for the missions, or been paying attention to the dialogue and setups the game gives you. God of War gives the players all the tools you need to be able to beat it, without feeling like the game is trying to trick you or work against you or even spoon feed you how to beat it. You get out of it what you put into it, and that is something I've never really seen done better in any game than with God of War here. What God of War does best though, in my mind, is immersion. The tone of the world, as I've stated, is extraordinary, and it is tone that builds the believability of the world of God of War. It builds an immersive experience that always has something going on with combat, puzzle solving, dialogue as you travel on your canoe or a fast traveling that teaches you more about the lore of the world and progresses the story at large. It is something you don't see enough of with open world games and God of War takes full advantage of it. 
why have characters traveling together if they're not going to be talking as they go about what they see or do or even just talking about what they're thinking about? It's truly something amazing. I found myself not able to play the game for more than a couple of hours at a time because it was such an immersive and intense experience I really had to walk away and decompress from it. The story of God of War is deeply personal and grounded as I stated earlier, and yet somehow turns into an adventure of epic proportion with twists, turns, laughter and tears with the amazing characters in it. Kratos and Atreus' journey of taking ashes to the top of a mountain could not sound more simple, but the game always makes each back step or turn in direction feel necessary and important. It made the end result of the journey feel like you really went through these challenges with the characters and that you really wanted them to succeed. In addition, there isn't a character in this game you run into that doesn't have some sort of significance to the characters we're playing with. There is always an interaction or some sort of exchange. It is within these small details that made the world of God of War and its characters so relatable and believable. God of War made everything it did feel important in fact. There was no fat to this game in my mind. It was cut to the absolutely most necessary features and story points. The fact this game isn't a hundred hours is a great thing to me. It gives quality over quantity while still feeling like an extensive experience. Of course, no game's perfect and neither is God of War. But overall, what I'm saying about this game, it just can't be overstated enough that you can't truly understand what I'm telling you without playing the game yourself and experiencing what it has to offer. It's a game I myself am going to be talking about for a very, very long time. God of War is one of, if not the best game that I've ever played. If you'd like to hear more about my thoughts of God of War, be sure to check out the Kill Connor Club God of War spoiler cast I did with James over on his channel Lasers. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Though, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for my semi sort of review and rave about God of War on PlayStation 4. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Yeah.